Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you could install the Microsoft SkyDrive service and how you could get started with it. In order to get started, you need to log into your Windows Live account and once you're logged in, you would get the inbox options here and on the top you would find the option saying SkyDrive. Click on it and you can access your SkyDrive folders on the web. Now in order to use this on your desktop, you would get an option on the top say, saying that the get the SkyDrive app for your PC or Mac. Or else if you don't get this option here, you can click on add a computer option on the left and it would say to add a computer you need to install the SkyDrive for Windows on it. To browse files and folders on the computer for SkyDrive, make sure your fetch files is, selecting, is selected in the app settings. To proceed, click on get SkyDrive for Windows. It should start initiate the download of this application. As you can see here, SkyDrive for Windows is the easiest way to access your SkyDrive from your PC. This is similar to the Dropbox application which is already offering this desktop sync option. So let us just be, proceed with the same. So this is a 4.7 MB file. I just downloaded. Now we are going to install the same onto this PC. You will get a security warning, proceed with the same and then it would say Microsoft SkyDrive installing. Next you would get a message saying like welcome to your most important files are with you wherever you go on any device because this is supported on the Windows and also on the Mac. Next you would be asked to log into with your live account. Sign in to the same. It would say introducing your SkyDrive folder, which you can also access through skydrive.com. Proceed. You can also change the folder where you would like the files to be stored. Fetch your files from anywhere. Forget to put something in your SkyDrive folder. Fetch files on this PC from another device. Proceed with the same. And then you can find that a new, new drive would be shown in your favorites which would say SkyDrive with all the files which you have on your PC would be shown there. You also get an option in the, in the taskbar which is similar to the Dropbox application. So here you can find all the files which you have already shared like this file as you can see it was uploaded to SkyDrive on 16th of January 2011, somewhere around a year, one of year back, and it's still hosted on saved on SkyDrive live account, and which is synced here. So uh, this is the SkyDrive service, and by default you get 7 GB of space. Just clicking on manage storage. Here you can find that you have SkyDrive is offering you different options like. SkyDrive free wherein it's upgrading your current 7 GB account to 25 GB for free wherein you need to just click on the free upgrade. Apart from that if you're looking for more space which is something like 100 GB then that would cost you dollars per year. While the same packages on Dropbox are on the higher end because a 50 GB account from Dropbox would actually cost you around $99 per year which is almost like 4 times higher. So let us just proceed with the free upgrade. Now your account is upgraded to 25 GB thanks for using SkyDrive. So as you can see now we have 25 GB of storage space on our SkyDrive account. And you can just start moving any of your files from your PC to this folder. So let us just move around and try to transfer a few files and check out how it works. So let me just transfer a few files. Just paste it here. Wait for the same to be synced. As you can see, we don't have the check option here, which clearly means that it's not yet uploaded. And once that's done, 
you can find the files in your account so that's it for now this is the quick introduction to skydrive and how you could use this application and sync the data from one pc to other pc or one device to other device be it a mac or the pc just install it on your multiple devices and then you can cross sync all the data and use them wherever you want as you can see the data is being uploaded as you can see the sync option going on here and the same would be shown into your online account here as you can see it's just uploaded and in order to share these files which are uploaded onto your account you can you have different options here everything ranging from the camera which is used for this photo with that is HTC One X the dimension size type of photo tags in case you would like to share you also have an option to directly send it through email or else post the same photo on different social networking sites like Facebook Twitter and LinkedIn you can also get a link which you can just share it but for that you need to make the photo as public first following which you get this link which you can just share it with someone following which you get a link which you can share it with someone right away and whenever they access it they can directly access this photo since it's in public so that was a quick introduction to skydrive service and how you could use the same and also get a 25 gb upgrade for your account thanks for watching do subscribe to our channel for more related videos